Hey everybody, welcome back to the Frugal Musician. Um, so last week I didn't make a video, you know, I kind of took the week off um, because of what happened was it's just been raining and horrible weather this past week here. Uh, I really couldn't do a video. It was so dark and loud from thunder and rain. It, it would have been picked up by the mic because I have a window right here and a window right here. I am literally in the corner and that's how I get my light from both of these windows so I don't have to worry about any extra lighting um, so I really couldn't do it. it the quality would have been horrible it would have been real grainy and noisy on the video and then you would have been able to hear just thunder and rain beating down on these windows and flashes of lightning so I didn't do a video but you know it is what it is I can only do what I can do and control what I can can't control and I can't do anything about that um, the dogs might be loud Otis outside for sure you know he's been kind of locked up all week because he is an outdoor dog um, he doesn't like being inside when he's inside he's got a kennel that's right underneath our, our dining room table because that's mainly set up as a desk there's another computer over there um, so his kennel slid up under half of it so when he's inside, that's where he's at, because our dogs don't always get along. One's super hyper, one's lazy. But, you know, that's beside the point. So just giving you fair warning, you might hear them. They've got a lot of pent-up energy they want to release. But today we're going to do a review on my favorite guitar that I have. By far, hands down, favorite guitar. And it is... This bad boy right here. It is the LTD MH350FR. That stand FR stands for Floyd Rose. They make another one that's the MH350NT, which stands for no tremolo. It's just a you know, string through. But I didn't have a guitar with the Floyd Rose. And I didn't have a guitar with EMGs. And I found this. And I got it. Now there's a little story about this. I got this from Guitar Center used for $249. I had to drive about an hour, hour and a half away to go pick it up. Um, in College Station, I'm in Houston. But what happened is I actually ordered the M300 from a Guitar Center in Colorado. They said it was What's the top of their scale for used? Excellent condition, which means in their terms, their descriptions, it should be like new. I got this thing. The I went to pick it up once it was delivered. I one I paid for overnight delivery. One day, it took about three or four days. So then I got my money back on the delivery uh, because of that. But. The knobs were pitted like if it had been sitting outside or dragged across the concrete. The Floyd Rose was like that, just starting to rust and really pitted, damaged. The binding along the neck was cracked at almost every fret. The back was just buckle rashed everywhere. This thing would have been fair condition at best. And they claimed it as excellent. Their top of the line, best new condition is what it should have been horrible I went to pick it up good thing I opened it in the store always check your used guitars in the store before you walk out with them to make sure everything's up to par all the electronics work but and that one actually cost me a little more I think it was 289 um, you know when I went up there and I saw when I noticed it was late it was a day late or well, it was a couple of days late, but th after the the first day it didn't arrive, I went on their Guitar Center used, started looking at other guitars, and this thing showed up at a guitar at a guitar center in College Station, an hour hour and a half away from where I live. It's the 350, not the 300, and it's the MH series, so it it's not a flat body. It's got a little bit of an arch to it. 
Um, this is like the Mirage and the Horizon by LTD. Um, it's a combination of those two body styles. The other one was just the M300, which is the Mirage. It's the flat. It's what Kirk Hammett plays. And the 300 had the EMGs as well, but it was an 81 in the bridge and an 81 in the neck. This is an 81 and an 85, your standard set. Um, I guess that was done on the M series to be like Kirk Hammett because that's what he plays and he has a 81-81 set. But after playing this feels a lot nicer. I just like the neck on this better than the uh, M series. And this thing is this thing was considered good condition. Now this they could have classified it as excellent. There's no scratches on this thing. All the plastic still on the back. Sticker still even on the all this has still got plastic covering it. I mean this thing is brand new condition that they just marked as good. So, I actually got a nicer guitar. One step up on the models. Went from a 300 to a 350. All around nicer, no scratches. And about $40 cheaper. So, I'm pleased with it, to be honest. I, the other one was Flame Maple. But it was red like this. This is a quilted maple. But... You know, it's, I like that it's quilted. I don't have a quilted maple. The other LTD I have is a flame maple, the lemon drop. And I've done a review on that. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. But we'll go ahead and get started with this. Okay, so I'm playing through TH3 today. Um, right now it's set on the Bank 3 Classic Rock and Preset 24 Technical Riff. I was just playing around with it before you know, I started doing the video. But this guitar has the nicest feel of any of my guitars that I have. I mean, it's... it's uh, I can't even say how nice it is. If you want to try one, find a store that has it and go pick it up. Now, as I said, it's quilted maple. It's a mahogany body with a maple top. It's a maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. It's got a 42 millimeter locking nut because of the Floyd Rose. And this is a Floyd Rose Special, which actually is excellent. It holds tune perfect. Um, there might be some reviews saying that it doesn't hold tune. This thing holds tune like a dream. I have no reason to upgrade this to the original. Um, it's black nickel hardware. Like I said, it's an EMG 81 in the neck. I mean bridge, and an 85 in the neck. Got the binding... It is a, I think they call it a, uh, a set through neck, which is it's set, but it also, you know, it, you can see here it goes through the entire body, but, all right, so this, like I said, this is the smoothest action on the guitar, I love this. Um, the camera's, I guess, not... I don't have a strap on it. That's why it's not holding it up for you guys. Um, I'll see what I can do. My straps were just so tough to get off my other guitars. I didn't want to deal with it. I need to get more straps. Just have one on each guitar. So, all right, let's go ahead and get started. I guess I'll start with the clean sound. I know this is more of a rock guitar. You're playing distortion with it. But people might want to see what it can do with EMGs on a clean mode. So we're on Experience TH3, Clean Verb, same as all the other presets that I use on all my other videos. That's a little loud. Guys, when I had to fix the strings on this, when I got lucky, a little trick with Floyd Rose, always put extra string around your tuning heads up here, or the pegs, I'm sorry, because when they break, they usually break right here on the bridge. 
So I had two of them that broke, as you can see in my guitar collection video. What I was able to do is loosen them down here, pull them, reinsert them in the bridge, tighten it up, and I was good to go. Didn't have to restring it. So, just a tip. That's just on the neck. Here's the middle position. Now the neck. Don't really care for that preset. There's a little too much reverb. I'll turn it off. Now it just sounds flat. Okay, now this is a dark face 65 is what TH3 calls it, which just means it's re representing a Fender 65 with the matching cab 212. It's on bright mode, not normal. As you can see, it does give it a little bit of a, a crunch. Alright, so. This is called Modern Clean. We'll try that one. Sorry, I've been forgetting to turn down the uh, mic, so you're probably hearing the strings. Yeah, it's got a tape delay on it. We're going to turn that off. And that tremolo, turn that off. Compressor. Turn that off. Alright, so now it's a what TH3 calls Rock 75 UK, it's a Marshall, let's see, oh. I'm just going through the list of amps right now to see what this is simulated. Oh, it just says uh, Overloud Original Model. This must be from one of the uh, older... Oh, here we go. Here's one. Rock 75 UK. It's based on the Marshall JCM 800. With the matching 412. Now that is with the volume all the way up on the guitar. I'm going to roll it back a little bit and see if it'll clean it up. All 
All right, so for those wondering if this guitar can clean up and get a nice, clean sound, it sure can. The right settings on your amp and and then also rolling back the volume knob will help cut that um, the EMG's driving, you know, the amp. This one's called Heaven Bell. We'll see what this sounds like. That sounds pretty nice. It's got a, a Univibe. It's a Randall uh, T2 amp and a 212 cabinet with a parametric EQ. This pedal is just called Dimension. And then it splits from there into the splitter. Into one side a tape delay, the other a hall reverb. Okay. That sounds pretty nice though. A little bit of a different sound. I normally don't do any type of these heavy effects in my reviews, but I'll give a little bit of a, you know, different type of sound to this video. Alright guys, I'm sorry that I'm not really playing anything you might know or anything good. I'm just trying to make sure this is... I'm just kind of making it up as I go along because I want to make sure that it's not copyrighted and <laughs> I'll be safe to put it on YouTube for you guys. Um, this one's called Lil Crunch. With this guitar, I'm pretty sure it's not going to have just a little crunch. But it is using a Brunetti amp. It's like the Brunetti Mercury with a spring reverb and a Brunetti, looks like 112 with a compressor. Hopefully, it's not the compressor is not too much on it. All right, so there we go. Like I said, it's not a little crunch on this guitar. But now if I roll back the volume, let's see if it turns it into just a little bit of a crunch. Yeah, so that, that works. Now to go to what this guitar really loves. Bank 10 Modern Metal. We're going to preset one, U.S. Death Thrash Raw. All right, now this is a, it's got the Tube 9, which is a TS9 copy, Tube Screamer, with a Mesa Boogie simulated amp. It is, uh, which one is this simulating? The dual rectifier, that's what that's simulating, and it's got the, what they call England 412 cabinet, which is really the Ingle. It's got three different parametric EQs on here. Let's see what it sounds like. Alright, so the amp is set on vintage. Let's turn it to. I'm gonna push it up to raw. Let's see what that sounds like. Now we'll turn it down to, to modern. Thank you. 
Okay. Sounds alright. It's a little trebly for me, but I don't want to mess with the preset. We'll go to preset 5 US Death Slash Thrash Lead. Load that up. This is the same thing all the way except for after the parametric EQs. It's got room, reverb, and digital delay. Okay. Yeah. This one, metalcore lead. Let's try that. All these have delays on them. Turn the delay off. Now this is a triple rectifier, sort of the dual. Now that was on the bridge pickup. Now this is both bridge and neck. Now I'll go to the neck. Pretty nice there. Uh, let's see. All right, this is 23 US Thrash lead. Maybe we'll get a different amp. All right, this is the Heavy 51 lead, which is supposed to be the 5150. Let's try that out. I swear, all these have delays or reverbs or all right delay off solo guitar player <laughs> but that's just showing you pinch harmonics on this guitar are amazingly simple all these parametric EQs have got them turned up too much they're clipping their lights coming on one thing about TH3 you have to mess with all their presets to get them just right okay so yeah that's about it you know, this week, I don't want to mess around too much, just showing you the specs of the guitar, you know, amazing, amazing, amazing guitar, the spacing of the strings, the neck, everything on this guitar is just right for my hands, it might not be for you, but the feel, playing this guitar, everything is perfect, so I would highly recommend you trying this out you know I thought fenders I tried all the you know the brands everyone says oh these are the best to get the fender or get a Gibson I don't have a Gibson um, but I didn't really care for it when I tried it at the store I didn't care for the neck but it might have just been that model I was trying I would still like to get one I'm not in a rush I have the LTD Eclipse their Les Paul body style which I still don't like as much as this, um, 
it's a different scale length than this is. I believe this is 25 and a half and the Eclipse is 24.75. But this LTD MH350 FR highly 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 recommend. Um, it uh, it sold for it says list price when I looked it up. List price was 1070. Now I don't think it sold for that. It might have been 899, 999 or something. You know they never sell for what the list price is. They always sell for 100 or 200 that. Now this wasn't on clearance when I got it because it was a, a used but after I bought this about a couple weeks later this model became discontinued and it went on clearance at Musician's Friend um, uh, Guitar Center you know, all those places where you can buy guitars it went down on clearance to $6.99 now there are some places you can still find them new for $6.99 or um, $700 99 somewhere around there um, but I would say look for a used one that is in new condition because you can still find these used for you know 299 300 a little more and it is a steal of guitar worth every penny you know I would like to get the black quilted maple top as well in this I you know, I could sell all my guitars and I would keep this just because of how nice it feels. And that's saying a lot because, you know, I never really thought about LTDs. It was like, eh, it's not the brand. You know, I was naive and it's not a Fender, it's not a Gibson, it's not a well-known brand. I'm telling you, this thing right here is a beast. It feels amazingly perfect for me. And I would highly recommend you get one and try it out or go to a store and try one out if you have if they have one in your area or even you know get the step up the 400 or the 1000 series you will be amazed with the quality of these guitars now this guitar was built in Indonesia you know so it's not a Korean it's not a, a Japanese but I'm telling you what, this thing is amazing. I can't say it enough. You're probably getting tired of me saying that about this guitar. With this guitar, there's really nothing wrong about it that I can find. Whereas the LTD Eclipse, you know, I do get some fret buzz with that one. Even though I've tried adjusting the, the action on it, I still get some fret buzz. The scale length on it doesn't fit right for me. It's harder for me to play. It looks amazing, looks gorgeous. It's very well built, but it doesn't feel right for me. It's um, just not a right fit as for others it is. But this is perfect for me. And I would probably go get another one of these if I had the money to right now. So that's it. You know, please like and subscribe. Uh, share this with other people. I know this video, I did a lot of talking, not too much playing. And me looking out this window over here because my dog is just running around being a goofball, having fun. Actually enjoying it. Might go out there and just, you know, throw the ball with them or something. I just felt like I needed to get a video out. If you want me to do, you know, a better review on this, just say so. But it is what it is. It's a rock guitar, distortion, high gain turn it up and just wail so eh. all right guys so sorry I kind of just cut off memory card um, ran out of space but as I was saying that's pretty much it this is just a short simple demo it's really mainly given the specs and just the overall sound of the guitar and the quality in my opinion of it so, sorry about the ranting and talking more than usual, but you know, it's just how much I love this guitar. I'm willing to say it over and over and over again. Now, hopefully what I can do 
in the next video, I'm getting a screen capture uh, software so you can possibly see what's on my computer screen. And I also got a MIDI foot controller. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to set everything up to what amp I want, all the pedals, and I'll have everything right here that I can turn, you know, the distortion pedal on, the wah pedal, pitch bender, phaser, flanger, delay, everything right here at my feet running through either Amplitube or TH3. And I'll give a review of the, you know, the pedal. I'm not going to learn all the ins and outs of it. As long as, you know, it works for what I'm doing, that's all I care about. I don't care about everything else it can do. I do already have it programmed for TH3. Um, I just need to start setting everything up, getting the pedals in order to where it sounds right. You know, but I do have everything programmed on the pedal. Super easy to assign a pedal. You, you know, go on TH3, you select it, stomp on the pedal. So it triggers it, and it's set. It's good to go. There's a video online about how to do it. But it's the... I can't even remember the, the, the pedal. It's the Behringer FB1010 or something like that. I don't know. I got that from Guitar Center used for 80 bucks. Brand new condition also. But the only thing is I don't have a extra USB port on my MacBook because it runs through MIDI USB. I have one, my guitar cable going into a USB and the other USB runs to my mixer. If you watch up how I hook up my setup here, you'll see how I have it set up. Well, that uses both my USB ports. So I'm going to have to go get a you know, USB adapter thing to add on more USB um, ports to the Mac and see if that will work. If not, I might have to get off the Mac, either use my, see there's my dog barking. I might have to use my Sony VAIO laptop and put TH3 on that and start using it because it's got more than two USB ports. Or my desktop, which is down here. You know, it's got six or seven USB ports. Maybe start using that. I don't know. Something I'll have to figure out. But please like, share, subscribe. Ask me any questions you want. Um, I answer them. I like talking about all this nonsense. To me, it's fun. And video stuff. I like talking about technical stuff. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. See ya.